Hello and welcome to the how-to tutorial on updating your personal and business info. So this video is going to focus on teaching you how to go in and update your contact information, your uh, personal information, and some business info that is uh, open to the public for everybody to kind of uh, see and learn a little bit more about you. So uh, I've just logged into the system under our fictitious uh, member here, Philip Winthrop, and there are a few different ways uh, that you can get there. They all go to the same location. You can click on the My Profile button here if you'd like. You can click on the little Edit button in the little My Profile section, a summary of uh, your picture and name here. And uh, again, if this is your uh, first time logging in, you most likely won't have some of this information. Uh, so if you don't, it's okay. That's what we're going to go fill out now. And you could also click on this little uh, My Account button here. It'll take you to the same spot. So I'm just going to click on the My Profile icon here. And this is going to take me over to the Profile page. Now there's several different options in here that you can uh, do that are associated with your profile. Uh, for this particular tutorial, we're only going to be focusing on these uh, top three here. So the contact info, the about, and the photos. And we'll cover the speaker bio and preferences and password and, and uh, inviting Facebook and LinkedIn friends in uh, another video. So you can be sure to check those out as well. So when I go to my profile page, uh, I can see the information that the public sees as it's displayed. So I can see the image, uh, the name, uh, contact information, etc. Uh, same thing with the uh, about information and the photos that are displayed. So if I go back to contact info and I want to edit this information. Now I have this little edit button and I see it because um, this member I am logged in as this member so if I was viewing somebody else uh, I would not see an edit button. So only you see the edit button for your profile. So I'm going to click on that button while I'm on the contact info and you can see an update profile dialog appears. And this is pretty straightforward as far as uh, filling it out. You can see I have a thumbnail photo so if you click the browse button it's going to open up a uh, a file browser so you can find the picture that you would like to use. Um, if you have a picture in there you can just clear it out if you want. Click on browse and go locate one. Uh, your personal title, title so Mr. or Mrs. etc. Enter your first name, your last name, your job title, company name. These are all pretty straightforward. Um, professional category you have some options that you can select from so if you click on the professional category you can see here that you're given a list. Now you can type a keyword search if you want and actually search for a category and it'll begin to filter out your results or you can just begin to browse. Um, there's many, many categories to choose from in here and uh, you'll notice that the list does uh, to, for, as a time saver so it doesn't load all the categories in at once. Um, if you get to the bottom here you can click on the little show more and it will go fetch more um, and uh, more job titles and append them or industry and uh, you can begin to scroll for more. So um, again if you know specifically what you're looking for you can type it in here to uh, see if it's already in the database and uh, we'll get that set up. So once you've made your selection, I'm just going to cancel because we already have one selected here, uh, it will appear here as your selection. Uh, you can enter your email address, work phone, mobile phone, you can enter in some search tags here if you want. Those are uh, just different ways for people to find you. Street address, and um, who you're invited by. Now who you're invited by, uh, this is the individual whom, uh, who sent you an invitation to Successful Thinkers Network. And uh, we have this tracking system because we actually give individuals credit for inviting other individuals. So um, if you send out invitations and people are accepting and you are an active member within the Successful Thinkers Network community, you can actually get rewarded for that and gain um, you know, like higher rankings in the search systems and referrals and things of that nature. So it's really exciting. The system actually tracks it. But uh, this is uh, who the system has indicated has um, invited you, but if this is uh, incorrect or uh, you know the information you need to change who actually invited you, you can just click on this link. It'll give you a dialog. You can do a search for a member, select the proper mem member that invited you, and select them from the list, and it will update. So once you have updated all this information in here, you can simply click the Done button. Uh, clicking the Cancel button will disregard anything that you have changed in here. Clicking the Done button says that you're done and it's going to save and update those changes and you'll see them reflected here. 
So the same holds true for the About uh, section. If I click on the About, uh, again, this is the current information as it is in uh, the system now. So if I click on Edit, uh, once again, I can upload now my uh, business logo by clicking Logo. I can do a uh, tall profile uh, photo, which is a larger page. And again, this is kind of more on the about page that shows up here. And I can give some uh, individuals the web page, Facebook page, etc., uh, just where they can link for more information. Uh, once I'm done with that, you can see here this is showing my progress through uh, the about information. So uh, I can proceed to the next step by clicking the little next button here. And uh, here I can type a little introduction about myself. You can enter in your specialties. You can type in um, customer served, which is uh, kind of like your target market. So who uh, who your business, uh, uh, your your target market is, who your customers, potential customers would be, and things of that nature. Again, just to give anybody that's browsing your profile a little bit better indication of who you're looking for to do business with. Um, you have your featured in, which would be any type of uh, news articles, magazines, or anything noteworthy that you want to uh, uh, indicate here. Accreditations and affiliations, um, pretty self-explanatory, just anything that is going to help uh, add credibility to your profile, you can add here. And we have this whole section called Power Partners, which is uh, really, really neat and uh, definitely something you're going to want to fill out. If you uh, look here at the little explanation, it's another profession that's likely to serve the same clientele. So uh, this is really exciting because it's a way to educate the uh, kind of artificial intelligence and the programming and the system as to who better it should try to match you up with. So. Uh, you know, if uh, if you are a uh, realtor, you might want to put in uh, different loan officers or brokers, things of that nature, things and individuals that will give you advice. So it's kind of like like industries that you would want to associate yourself with uh, so you guys can help one another. And, and clicking on one will, again, allow you to select from the list of professions. And you can select up to three of these. And these are just referred to as power partners because they are individuals that uh, you want to connect with because it's going to make all of your businesses more powerful by educating the system to, uh, uh, to connect you guys and your prospects and referrals and so forth on. So once I'm done with that, I can click Next, and I have some uh, testimonials and quotes that I can put in here. And these are, um, I mean, you can put in your favorite quotes if you want. You can put in client testimonials if you'd like. And uh, you have an option for a, a few different ones that you can put in here. And uh, you just put in the title and the uh, quote that you would like to appear. And uh, you can leave it blank if you don't have one. Uh, or you can put them in if you'd like. And once you're done, you can go back. Uh, also here, if you look, you can go back to the other steps. You can cancel out of it, which disregards all the changes that you did. Or you can click Done and finalize your changes. And uh, your information on this page will update with your contact info um, and your uh, addresses if you filled them in. Those become active little links. Uh, here are the quotes. This is the title that we were talking about. And then this would be the... Um, the actual quote itself. So again, you can make these as customer testimonials, and uh, then your information uh, appears here. So this is where your uh, you know your picture appears, your introduction and uh, specialties and all that good stuff, and then your your power partners and uh, target market and, and all of that. And uh, the last section is the photos, and the photos is pretty straightforward. Um, you have different photos here, and uh, again, you can really put anything. Uh, anything here that you would like. Um, you know, if you're an artist, you could put your artwork here, um, just about anything that you want, pictures of your office if you want, uh, whatever it is that you feel will help uh, explain what you do or who you are to the different members that are browsing your profile. And again, changing this very easy, you just click on the little edit button here and you can clear a photo out if you don't like it or don't want it. You can browse for a photo. If you click on Browse, again, it's going to open up a local file file browser for your system where you can locate the image and upload it, and it does allow you to add a caption per image. And uh, if you scroll, you can see that there's uh, several different photos that you can add here. And you can click Done if you want to save or cancel to disregard your changes. And uh, once somebody visits this, they can click on it. They can open it up to view a larger image with your caption and go back to your gallery if you want. So that is how to update your profile. And again, if you are interested in learning more about speaker bio, preferences, passwords, we have some other how-to videos for you to check out.